Hello everybody, so just got back, look like a grease monkey still, just bear with me. Setting everything up, been studying all day, all night. Day 25 of these daily videos that I've been working on thus far, sources in the description box below. So today, what I really wanted to talk about, sorry if you can hear like a weird bumping from me adjusting the color here. What I really wanna talk about today is President Trump saying that he was going to veto the defense bill unless they take out the section 230 of the 1996, I think it's called communication. Let me make sure I get this right for y'all. It is called the 1996 Communications Decency Act. Now, what does that mean? Long story short, that means that right now you can't sue social media platforms even if they have a bias. Now we can argue all day, do they have a bias towards the right, towards the left? I think it's probably more towards establishment Democrats, right? I think they like to crack down on the right, use that as an excuse to crack down on the left. Um, mostly when, especially if you kind of analyze like who actually threatens power, right? And so President Trump was saying, no, wait, hold on a second here. If you guys don't allow people, take out that section and allow people to sue media platforms, I'm going to veto the defense bill. <laughs> like, that's a power move. That's a power move, right? It is, it is, it is. I don't like him. I hate, I hate that I always have to say that whenever I'm like about to like give somebody props for doing something. I don't like him. I think we should cut the military budget at least in half, at least. Don't even get me started with that. But anyway, let's think about this for half a second. So Twitter does, I'm using Twitter as an example for social media platforms, but social media like Twitter, they do in fact crack down on different groups. Like I think it was Facebook and Twitter who said they're going to crack down on far right groups. Okay, cool. Well, it turns out that then they started cracking down on far left groups as well. I even lost, I think it was 2000, 2000 followers on Twitter after one of the recent crackdowns, interestingly enough. And also on YouTube, by the way, I got a little email saying that they stopped cutting my video recommendations by 70% because I'm unreliable media, even though I post my sources in the description box below. Sorry if you guys hear my videos all the time and you have to constantly hear that. I'm always bitching about it. Sometimes if I refresh my videos, the views will get cut down as well. So he's saying, hey, they have a bias. You should sue them. Now, the, the irony is the fact that he originally decided to do that because on Twitter, <laughs> they were posting underneath all of his tweets about elections. They were saying it, the Associated Press determined Biden was the winner. And so Trump was upset over that. Now, this kind of opens up the idea about like public comments. So if we're like go all the way back into the Middle East times, you have a square, a public commons where people go in and talk about God knows what, you know, God, well, yeah, actually God, or beheading people or, or, you know, drinking, whatever they do, whatever they did back then. But the idea was that that was a, a platform that you could express yourself at whatever capacity that you wanted to. You guys always hear these cars, like, am I going insane? Can you guys actually hear these? Or is it just a me thing? Anyway, I live in a city. People are doing stuff out there. I live in Portland. So there's always weird stuff. Anyway, if social media platforms decide to actually crack it down on individuals based off of what they say, then they are no longer acting as a public commons, but rather instead they're acting more as a biased enterprise. Therefore, they are preferring certain individuals over others. Therefore, they are open to being sued. I have to agree with them. I think that's a good idea. You should probably be able to sue them. I think so. I think so. I think that's the best move forward. Don't even get me started with the defense bill. Again, I think we should cut it in half at least. We have $706 billion for the, dis the defense bill, the budget, excuse me, for 2021. 50% of the, the, the budget goes to private contracting companies that then use that money to also pay for lobbyists and also charge the US government somewhere upwards of $2,000 per spoon in certain occasions. Anyway, I don't know. I think this was a good idea. I hate to take a side, but I think if we all believe in freedom of speech, we should all agree that maybe these social media platforms shouldn't have so much of a preference towards certain groups. And if they do, they shouldn't get off scot-free for it. 